Hello folks, this is Daniel Queen Mac Exterior in Charlton, Massachusetts. And today I'm cleaning this uh, commercial building here. It's brick. I'm cleaning the uh, the brick of course. That's how um, bad it is. This is the clean side. You can see at the top as well. It's very disgusting. And then here, you can see how clean it is. I'm only cleaning the uh, front portion of this building and then at some point uh, later next year, hopefully they're gonna hire me back to, these, to do these uh, sections here. How are the entire building? But it's uh, raining. Uh, we're working on the rain, of course. Okay, so we are at the second day here. Yesterday it was pouring rain, really, really bad. And I had to do all of this in the rain. But uh, thankfully everything now came out nice. You can see, see the fade of uh, mildew. But this property hasn't been clean in a very long time. So the customer is happy about it. There is another side behind the uh, the wall here where you can walk at the top. I'll make a video of it later. And that was covered with uh, really bad mildew and some uh, lichens. And I also had to do the aluminum at the very top. But now I'm back here to do uh, some frost removal see it there and it's a simple process it shouldn't it shouldn't take long okay so I'm at the uh, second level and uh, this is what I had to clean all of these uh, vinyl or aluminum I think it is it's painted and it was really really bad and this wall as well it's a lot of windows and the oxidation right at the top here it's it's ugly disgusting oh my god and now I'm coming to uh, treat these uh, rust spots and I'm using uh, F9 bark to do this I see it is working good. It's working like lightning. It's somewhat windy right now, so I'm guessing that's gonna help me with not breathing in this stuff. this at the top it's gonna be a little bit tedious waiting for the last part and this one over there to disappear then I'll move to the other side but it took a 
look over here. I wasn't supposed to clean this side, but I did it anyways. That's how bad it was all around. Hopefully I get to clean this side uh, next year. stain that I am I'm trying to uh, remove. The rust stain is already looking uh, better than before. It's letting it dwell for quite a while. And I'm using this uh, piece of um, rag here and I'm soaking it a little bit with uh, F9 bark. And then I'm touching the uh, spots underneath here. And also at the uh, at this edge here, I don't want to spray anything so it doesn't hit the windows. That would be bad. And I'm already done with that side. Now I just have to do this, and then I'll be done for today. That's how bad it was. And this thing is very tedious to remove. I was hitting it with a 4% and I still had to do multiple applications. And of course it was raining downpour. Very fun project. can scrub it down just just do it with like a towel that way well, you're gonna be able to expedite the cleaning process which is what I'm doing and I have like a three no like a four to one quarter F9 bark on the rest water so it's very potent and I'm still struggling, struggling to get those uh, heavy stain of rust. But hopefully, in less than half an hour, I'll be out of here. Okay, I'm all done here. It's not gonna get any better than this. Uh, as soon as the next rainfall happens, that's gonna rust all over again. Uh, they need to address the is happening here because it's leaking and uh, yeah I'm gonna rinse it off and uh, I'll be heading home that's it for today like and subscribe thank you for watching